that is super duper icky. Look at this giant Tootsie Roll. Is that not the biggest Tootsie Roll you have ever seen? Oh, they're about to open the giant Tootsie Roll. I am so excited. Guess the costume. No, family, I'm not a piece of bubble gum. I don't care that I'm pink. Okay, okay, try again. Oink, oink. <laughs> no, family, I'm not a pink donut. I'm not even an animal. I'm a pig, I'm a pig. Okay, okay, what about this one? Meow, meow. <laughs> no, family, I'm not a Doreo dipped in pink chocolate. Doesn't even make sense. I'm a cat, I'm a cat. Meow, meow. Because family, if you haven't noticed, it's almost Halloween. And Halloween is when you dress up in costume and see a bunch of spooky stuff. And that is exactly what we're about to see today. Because today we're going to be looking at the scariest things found in Halloween candy. Because sometimes when you think you're eating chocolate, you might accidentally get this. Smash ah! like on today's video to make sure you get lots of candy for Halloween. And comment down below your favorite Halloween candy. Mine's anything shaped like a pumpkin. Mm. Our first spooky Halloween candy are these gummy eyeballs. Ah! I don't know about you, family, but when I'm hungry, I would prefer not to eat a human body part. Oh! Anyway, so allegedly, apparently, this person bought some gummy eyeballs from the store. They were planning to hand them out for Halloween when everybody goes trick-or-treating. But before they did, they decided to eat one of those gummy eyeballs by themselves. Don't really know why, but whatever. <laughs> Look what they found! A spiky, pointy... <laughs> why, family? Why? How this thing was found inside that candy, I have no idea. But what I do know is whoever did that needs to start playing pin the tail on the donkey. Because he got that thing right in the center of the eyeball. And got himself a bullseye. Perfect shot. Family, comment down below, yummy, as the secret word of today's video, and I'll heart your comments. The next spookiest thing found in Halloween candy was inside of these pink bubble gums. No, family, we went over this. I am not a pink bubble gum. I'm a pink little piggy. Who also happens to chew bubble gum. Well, these people allegedly bought some pink bubble gum from the store. They filled up their pretty green Halloween bucket to be able to share it with all the kids. Apparently, one of the people's breasts was... <coughs> Little stinky! So they decided to choose some bubble gum. Sweet family, bubble gum is the best. It's delicious, it freshens your breath, and it's super fun to chew. What possibly could go wrong? Duh! Wait a chicken nugget second! What is that? Wait a second, family. We gotta look a little closer. Closer and closer! Oh! I think I know what's found inside of that bubble gum piece. It's a band-aid! Wrapped around the bubble gum. Family, make sure you watch the end of today's video to see a candy that will make your mouth go on fire! I'm sorry, Mr. Bubblegum Man, sir. Did you get yourself a bobo? Because it looks like somebody is trying to bandage you up. Just like I tried to bandage up my friend over here. Uh, Mr. Ch chicken Nuggy, sir. Look, he has a bobo. I told him to not eat so many chicken nuggies at once, but he's just a baby. But he didn't understand. And another secret that I told him is that he's going to be available this November for any of the family who wants to get him. Because he's the newest chicken nugget member of the family. Baby Nuggy. Available this November if you want to add him to your family, so stay tuned. All right, family, this next one is not an actual Halloween candy, but a Halloween bug. <laughs> Look at the cute puppy with a pumpkin on his head. Does the puppy win the best costume award? Well, I mean, hey, it's better than mine. I'm just a stinky pig. Oh, so allegedly somebody bought this Halloween book just trying to have fun for Halloween. Maybe they wanted to bring it to school. Maybe they wanted to use it to draw all their favorite colors of the rainbow. But family, oh, yeah, they didn't get to do that. Because when they opened up their super fun, super cute, super festive Halloween book and flipped through all the different pages, instead of getting ready to draw, they got ready to uh, scream! Because look what they found inside the book! Two giant spiders that, uh, that actually kind of look like they're made out of gummy. Huh? Wait a second, maybe we did find Halloween candy after all! Yay! 
secret candy inside of a book? Mm, actually, I don't think you should eat candy that you don't know where it comes from. Because even though that spider candy looks super duper delicious, you don't know what's inside of it and you do not know who put it there. Could be from a bad guy. Really, I have no idea how those gummy spiders ended up inside of that Halloween book. Maybe somebody was trying to play a prank or something. But if they were, can you tell them that me and baby Nuggy are super duper mad at them? <laughs> Now I'm gonna have to deal with him all night having nightmares. The next spooky thing found in a Halloween candy is super duper spooky family. Look at these Halloween party the syringes? That looks like something I used to take my medicine out of. My mom would say, open up, Alexia. Time for your daily dose of liquid medicine and now. Then she would usually get it all over my face because I'm not opening my mouth for that. Medicine tastes gross. I'd rather eat candy. You did kind of like this candy. Uh, but what do those things say on top of there? P -p 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 -poise? And there's also a skull and crossbones. Isn't that the sign for when people go... Anyways, family, apparently this red liquid inside of there is not supposed to be ketchup. It's not supposed to be blood. It's supposed to be candy. Well, then I guess it's supposed to taste good. But when this person went to go eat the candy and squirt it all in their mouths, they allegedly noticed that one of them was looking a little different from the rest. They squirted some of it out into the sink and allegedly found some hairballs. Ah, what the chicken nugget? How do you get hairballs inside of candy? And how do you get that much? Either the people who made this candy were trying to get people to eat some hair or the people who made this candy have a pet bear in their garage and he was trying to play with the candy before they could end up serving it. Bob the bear gets kind of hungry sometimes. <laughs> Halloween party favors. Well, family, these things look like the same things you get at Christmas time. Your family puts on your plate before you eat dinner, and then you twist it open and find a gift inside. Oh, man, family, and this looks like it's the Halloween version of that. What gift are we gonna find inside of these ones? I can't wait. Oh, uh, uh, what, what is this one? Oh, we chose the pink one, and it looks like there is something inside. Oh, I can't wait. Is it gonna pop up? like a surprise. Wait, wait what, what is that? that? That doesn't look like a surprise. That actually looks like dirty newspaper. Or dare I say, used toilet paper? No, 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 family. But, but used toilet paper is definitely not a gift. The only time that would ever be a gift is if you couldn't go potty for a couple days. And then finally one day you could and then boom! <laughs> Grateful for the toilet paper. But still kind of bleh. Anyways, next Halloween candy. Oh, my favorite! Chocolate-covered pumpkins! Whoa, look how many of the chocolate pumpkins they have, family! And they're even putting it inside of a Halloween bucket! Oh, I love Halloween so much because you get to dress up as whatever you want, but most importantly, you get to eat whatever candy you want. And, well, if your mommy says yes, and your tummy doesn't start hurting too much from all the candy, because you can't eat more candy if you're about to puke. Well, family, allegedly these people were all excited to eat their chocolate pumpkins. They were so excited that they took one and started unwrapping the wrapper. Just about to take that chocolate and pop it in their mouth when they found... Uh... Something that they were not supposed to find in the chocolate ball. What is wrapped around that chocolate ball? And what does that chocolate ball kind of look like a wrapped mummy? Is this supposed to be for Halloween? Or is that chocolate ball just wrapped in dental floss? Whoa! I can't tell if that's super spooky and super bad. Or if I take that chocolate to my dentist and then maybe he'll let me eat it. Because then right after I can just floss my teeth. Is that chocolate? Or more like floss a lid. <laughs> no, seriously, Bobby, can I eat it now? Because it still looks tasty. Oh, family, look, that's the candy corn candy that you all 
what we see in Halloween. It's supposed to be like corn on the cob, but candy version and Halloween version and spooky version. But it also kind of looks like a lollipop with the three different colors. I mean, there is always a huge debate in Halloween if you like this candy or if you don't. I think people either love it or really hate it. So which one are you, family? Do you like it or no? Comment down below. So I guess whoever bought this candy likes it because clearly they bought it to eat it. But uh, family, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a secret. They didn't eat this candy at all. None of it. Not even one. Because when they put their hand in the bucket to grab a piece of candy, or should I say corn, they grabbed one out and were about to put it in their mouth. But look, look inside of that piece of candy corn. It's a nail. Why is there a nail inside that candy corn? Family, I because if somebody put that nail inside of that candy, then that is not good. And I think it means they were trying to hurt us. Because family, I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but you cannot <clears throat> eat nails. No, no, no. That is on my list of what not to eat. Wow, look at this bag filled of chocolate Halloween skulls. This person must have won trick-or-treating at like a bajillion different houses. Because look how many they have. It's like my dream. I also love their Halloween kitty cat bag. It looks like a spooky black Halloween cat. I'm pretty sure those things are supposed to be haunted. So I think this person's daddy or mommy was inspecting their candy before they got the kid to eat it. And when they were making sure that all the candy was okay with absolutely nothing wrong with it, they found out that, uh, yep, there absolutely is something wrong with it. Because look what they found inside. Allegedly inside of this person's candy was a giant bug. Family, there is a giant bug inside of this Halloween candy. Do you think the kid is gonna eat it? If he does, that is super duper icky. But also if he does, it might add a little bit more protein. So maybe this bug candy isn't such a bad idea. Mmm, tastes like a fried potato chip. Crunchy. Whoa, this one's my favorite Halloween candy yet. It's a lollipop in the shape of a haunted witch. You know witches, family. You know, the spooky girls who make a giant potion and wear the pointy hat. And they also go flying on their witch's brooms. Uh, yeah, those ones. But I don't know if this witch lollipop can do all those things. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to eat a lollipop and the lollipop's not supposed to come to life. But if that's what's about to happen here, then uh, I don't know if I want to see that. Allegedly, whoever bought this lollipop opened up the wrapper, ready to take a big <laughs> bite. Oh, look at the witch's face. It looks so spooky and her nose is so big. Well, that's okay because a bigger nose means more lollipop to eat. And I am fine with that. So they took a giant bite inside of their marshmallow lollipop. Everything seemed fine. Everything seemed normal. But now take off the top of the witch's head. Peep your eye a little bit inside the lolly. And family, there's a baby chili pepper in there. <laughs> what? This does not even make sense. I thought the rapper said spooky lollipop. Not spooky. Spicy lollipop? Because eating that would make your tongue go on fire. But maybe that's what they wanted to do because Halloween is spooky and so is fire. They wanted a magical Halloween show. Except I think that show would cost you your tongue. Because after you eat that spicy thing, I don't think it's ever going to work again. <laughs> Look at this giant Tootsie Roll. Is that not the biggest Tootsie Roll you have ever seen? I guess crazy candy comes out at crazy times of the year. That thing is giant, just like a giant zombie. <laughs> oh, they're about to open the giant Tootsie Roll. I am so excited. Oh, uh, what? Family, we've been scammed. We've been tricked. On the outside, it looks like the candy is one giant Tootsie Roll. But then after you open it up, it's just a bunch of baby Tootsie Rolls. Oh, man. The disappointments don't end there. Because allegedly, when somebody went to go eat these baby Tootsie Rolls, it looked like a regular Tootsie Roll at first. Then when they looked 
closer to the candy, there is something sticking out of the Tootsie Roll. Family, that does not look like more candy. It looks like some kind of wooden stick. Uh, wait a second. Oh, they're trying to squish around the Tootsie Roll to open it up. But the candy is so squishy and stretchy that they can't do it. <laughs> this is so funny. Maybe there's not even anything stuck in the Tootsie Roll. Maybe it was just all in our head. What is that? It looks like there's white fluffy fur inside of it. Or kind of the inside of a dirty Q-tip. Whatever it is, I don't like it. It looks too fluffy and you definitely cannot eat that. Family, if you see any candy like this at Halloween, make sure not to eat it. And make sure your mommy and daddies check all your candy first. So you don't accidentally eat a bug. <laughs> like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all those notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.